Welcome to my TV. Welcome to most blessed YouTube channel, this is Welcome to my TV. We got breaking news, guys. It's a good one. So, you know, Jay Cargo, Jay Cargo for AEW, she's coming to the day and making her debut uh, amazing. Now, I would love to see Jay Cargo together with Dr. Blair, Charles Blair, and yeah, where are you? Talk about champions that that you face. So, so my question here is, what's Jay Cogdell's first point? I'm gonna go find out. But for now, well, I'm on my way to work, and after that, I bought myself some water, and I bought what was, so I had to stay hydrated because what happened last night is really worse because. I should have went to the Taco Bell in the first place, but I bought the I bought the mall at the uh uh all the cardio stuff. So so right now I, I have to do this uh this new guy. So I don't know, tell tell. Anyway, let's watch this joint. If you haven't uh, uh seen hit my uh YouTube video, make sure you go go to here. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, tap the little bell on YouTube back to your numbers up road and it will continue. Okay, so I'm back from work and, and we're still talking about Jay Cargill, so let's hear it. Okay, so Jay Cargill is, is one of the AEW's uh, superstars. She was with uh, 50 plus wins in her title defense and she is undefeated until she get pinned by Chris Datlander. Now, my reaction is, um, I'm very impressed that Jay Cargo has made a successful win uh, ever since she made a debut right there, and they elevate her to become a better wrestler, and, and now she gets called to the WWE, um, and maybe, I think the reason why is that she left AEW because she proved that she, she is the better woman in AEW, but she has nothing to prove in AEW, but now she, she's going to prove herself to become a professional wrestler as well as an entertainment. Now, I got to ask, what would Jay Cogdell's first opponent would be? Hmm. Um, perhaps she would go to, um, go to, um, uh, uh, NST, uh, to face, uh, younger talents, or she would jump all the way to the main roster to be a baby face to take care of Bianca Belair. I think that was a good idea. Because one thing for sure that I would think that Bianca Belair have a uh, few rivalry with Jay Cargo, but the only way to do it is because she needs to uh, find her team. And we're going to need a team to, uh, to elevate her uh, to be uh, the best superstar in, in the entire world. Now, I gotta say, not only that Jay Cargo is gonna be in the main roster, but I think MJ to Mother F and F, MJF will be here at the Royal Rumble in 2024. You know why? Because I'm a thinker. Here's my theory. What if some of the AEW superstars will come here um, to WWE to prove themselves to become a champion? I say, I think MJF go to Raw to, uh, to face the, uh, the World Heavyweight Champion, while Jay Cargo go to a SmackDown to become uh, the Women's Champion, and she gonna defend against Bianca Belair. Well, sorry, we don't know for sure that when is she's gonna be driving to NST or she's gonna be driving to either Raw or SmackDown, but we gotta figure it out. So, mm. now. So let me know in the comments below, what you guys think that Jane Cargill is going to be end up in there? She's going to be in the NSC, she's going to be a Raw, or she's going to be a SmackDown? Oh, and I'm going to have a uh, keep her name right there because, because Jane Cargill is it's the, it's the right name that she needs because, man, if they decides to change the name, uh, I, I don't know, as long as, long as it's not terrible, okay? So I was not terrible, so they better they better do it right with this time. Okay guys, so the next night I went to Amazon and you never gonna guess what I got. So I'm pretty sure that everything is all sorted out. So I'm um, this back right here. So Alright, 
see Amazon.